हम अच्छा माँ है बुरा माँ है पता नहीं पर माँ माँ हो सर मदर्स आर इनडिस्पेंसेबल ह्यूमन बींग्स नो चाइल्ड कैन लिव विदाउट दैम मदर ऑल दो देर आर वेरियस केसेस ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन ग्रोइंग अप विद दैम मदर्स वी ऑल नो वेन दैट हैपन्स द चिल्ड्रेन बिकम मेजरेबल द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन मदर एंड चिल्ड्रेन इज सेकर्ड एंड नो बडी हैज द राइट टू वायलेट द रिलेशनशिप इट इज अ मदर हु हैज टू गो थ्रू द पेन ऑफ बियरिंग अस इन अ वूम फॉर नाइन मंथ्स This is not an easy task right such is the story of Mrs Chatterjee versus Norway the film encapsulates the fight of a mother against a whole nation for her children who are taken away from her if you have watched the film you may be having question whether the film is based on a true story or not in this video we will know about the possibilities we intend to provide you with all the necessary information that has gone behind the making of film So is Mrs Chatterjee versus Norway based on a true story? The simple answer to this question is yes. The film Mrs Chatterjee versus Norway is based upon a real life incident that happened with a couple almost 12 years ago in the year 2011. Before delving right into the story, let us first get to know about the storyline of the film which will help you connect with the actual plot of the real life incident. The story of the film revolves around a Bengali couple and their children. Mr and Mrs Chatterjee moved to Norway after they got recently married to each other. After a year, Mrs Devika Chatterjee got pregnant with her first child, Soup Chatterjee. However, the incidents did not start here. It was after the birth of the second child, Suchi Chatterjee, that the government of Norway started to send their people into the Chatterjee household to check if the parents were suitable enough for the children. However, according to the norwegian child care system the chatterji couple was framed as unfit parents for their children and hence the children were taken away and sent for adoption it was during this time when mrs devika chatterji did everything under her control to get her children back from the custody of government the story of the film has been taken from a real life incident that happened to sagarika chatterji and abhirup chatterji in 2011 This Bengali couple had two children named Abhigyan and Ashwarya Chatterjee. Miss Sagarika was deemed an unfit mother because she used to feed her kids by her hand and treat her kids as normal Indian mothers do. She was framed to be a threat to her children. Charges of domestic violence and incompetent husband and father were placed upon Abhirup by the Norwegian government. As a result, Abhigyan and Ashwarya were taken away from the couple forcefully. Mr Chatterjee, who was desperately trying to get his citizenship in Norway confirmed did not take the matter seriously at one point he even gave up on his children however mrs chatterjee did not give up on the battle she fought against her husband and the norwegian government sagarika went as far as involving the government of india when one of our country's official went to norway for trade purposes she pleaded to the indian government to help her out of the situation and her pleas were responded to a positive reaction how However, she had to face trouble with her in-laws family when her children were sent back to India under her brother-in-law's custody. Her case went up to the Kolkata High Court and was ultimately dismissed there. Although the situation was extremely difficult, Sagarika managed to navigate through all the problems and get her dear children back to her. The cast of Mr Chatterjee versus Norway included Rani Mukherjee, Anirban Bhattacharya, Jim Serb, Neena Gupta and Barun Chanda. Besides them others are also included in the cast who have played important supporting roles in the movie. Mrs Chatterjee versus Norway has gained a rating of 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb which suggests that the movie is one of a kind. If you want you can watch the movie on theaters and I would definitely suggest you to go and watch the movie as it is fantastic. To get more updates on your favorite shows and movies like this do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon.